Welcome back to my channel guys. So today's video is going to be a huge haul um, from Ulta, Sephora, um, Charlotte Russe, Forever 21, PacSun, Lush, and Coco or uh, Lady Moss. So if you're not familiar with these sites, I will put the description box, I will put them in the description box below to check them out. And which I'm pretty sure most of these stores you've heard of guys. If not, then you live in a, you live in under a rock. So I'll start off with Ulta and Sephora. I just kind of put it all together in this bag from Ulta. And um, I do have a glare in my glasses from the light. So hopefully that's not, doesn't bother anybody. But anyways, let's start. So the first thing that I got from Ulta was, did I get this from Ulta? Yeah, I did. No, I got this from Sephora, but you can also get it at Alto. So it's the Smashbox um, Pore Minimizing Primer. Uh, the one that I usually use is the hydrating one, I think. I'm sure a lot of you that watch my YouTube channel or follow me know what I use, but it's this one. It's the Photo Finish More Than Primer Blemish Control um, Primer. So I kind of wanted to try this out because I guess it's, uh, it's supposed to be a dramatic pore reduction for eight hours. Um, I did wear, oh, I kicked the camera, sorry. I did wear it today and I kind of did see that uh, my pores, I don't have that bad of pores, but the sun, but sun, I can't talk today. But the ones that I do have, um, it didn't show as much today, so I kind of liked that. But, um, I definitely gonna try it out a couple more times and see if I actually like the product or not. But, so far today, it was pretty good. And every, since I mixed everything in this bag, I don't even realize what I got from Ulta or what I got from Sephora. But regardless, most of these products you can get at either or. So, I mean, that's completely up to you. Some of these I did already um, throw out the boxes for them. So, I apologize in advance for that. Um, I did get this tart brush. And this is the foundation kabuki kind of brush. Looks like that. Just a little tiny brush. And I guess it's supposed to give you a flawless finish with your foundation. So definitely going to try this out and see if I like it or not. Because I heard really good things about this. So, Also, um, from the Tarte New Brush Collection, I got, I got them all. But I misplaced the other ones. I don't know what I did with them. But I was really... I have the similar brushes to the other ones in the set but the one that I was really excited about is this one which is kind of a blush brush but I feel like it could also be used for maybe contouring or whatever so um definitely excited to use this and I kind of used it already earlier but I was in a hurry that I didn't even care to actually go in depth with it um also I got this brush which the packaging looked like this from Real Techniques um, if you guys can see. And the brush just looks like this. I've been wanting a brush like this for a while for like my powder and my concealer. Kind of, it's actually a really nice setting um, brush for like your under eyes. So, and I definitely, and I tried this out today and I kind of, and I really liked it. Um, it's just, you know, a little fluffy brush. And especially like to like carry with you, like when you go to work or you're at school and you just kind of want to touch up under your eyes a little bit. <sighs> Excuse me even with the product left on it I just use it like there's still powder in there because I used it today so I kind of just dust it under my eyes and yeah so I liked that um, I think those are all the brushes that I got for from there so and then that okay so the next thing that I got was this oh, this uh, the single eyeshadow from NARS and in this one is called out rumor out reamer and it's a pretty bold blue and i'm saying bold because it just stood out to me when i was like looking at their eyeshadows and i'm really excited to try this out and look for you guys so this is like the packaging that comes in this little box which i just took out of and then obviously the little thing they put and so this is a little thing came off so this is what it looks like. It's just a really nice blue, a dark kind of blue, um, and I'll swatch it on my hand here. It's really pigmented, which is what I like about it. Um, 
So yeah, definitely excited to try this one out. I don't have that many blues that are so, that are this pigmented, so definitely that's the reason why I got this one. That and I just love blue, like it's such a pretty color. And I got another eyeshadow, and this one's from Urban Decay. And this is another blue. This one is called Height Hate. Height Hate. I don't even know. And uh, the packaging, they make it like in like impossible to open these because like it has like I don't know if you can see like it has this little bar in here. I don't know if you're supposed to rip it off or what, but or maybe I'm opening it the wrong way. I've never gotten eyeshadows from them, so I'm not sure. I'm kind of struggling here. Okay, there we go. I just ripped it off. Come on, like are you kidding? Okay, finally. So this is what it looks like. And it just tells you like the color in the back as well. And I'll open it up. This one is kind of like a silvery blue. Like I feel like it has little like tones of silver in it. And I'll swatch it on my hand as well. So that's what it looks like. Just kind of a lighter blue than the one from NARS. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this one too. I think this one would be perfect color for like a smoky blue eye, which that's kind of what I thought. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one and probably make a blue smoky eye, um, video for you guys. And then I also got this other one. I don't know what it's, what's up with me and blue and like army green, but I've been crazy over those colors this month. I can get this thing open too. This is another blue, and this one is from Urban Decay as well. Oh god! And all the all the information on all the products and the prices and all that will be listed in the description box. Guys, I'm like about to give up on this packaging. I love Urban Decay, but they make it impossible for you to like get these things out. Okay, so this one is called Radium. And this one is kind of, you know what, this one, the, the hate or height, the one that I just had is kind of like a teal, more of a teal color. And this one is more kind of a blue. Um, if you can see the difference here. So this one kind of, um, let's see, I'll swatch both of them on my hand so you guys can see kind of the difference. So obviously you can see that Hate is more of a teal color, whereas um, Radium is more of a blue. Um, the thing that I like about the Radium is that it just, it kind of has like a metallic kind of like look to it, kind of tint to it. Um, and then like the ones, these from Urban Decay kind of have like a glittery effect to it, whereas the NARS is just a blue, like a solid blue. It doesn't have any like pigments of like silver or anything else. It's just a blue. So definitely, you know, I can go both ways. I love um, matte colors and I love kind of colors with glitter in them. So I, I like them both. Uh, this army green that I got, I keep calling it army green. Is that even like a... A reference to a green like think you guys know what I mean when I'm saying that right I hope you guys do because if you guys are just kind of listening to me like what is this what are you even talking about Marzal but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about um, so this one is called mildew also from urban decay and this is what it looks like and then also swatch that on my hand so I kind of want to say this almost has kind of a gold look to it as well. It is a green, but it kind of has like a gold look and tint to it. Um, so definitely when I put it on, I'll, I'll, I'll know if it's actually green or if it, like you can see it has little, little hint, sparkles of like brown as well in it. So very pretty color. Next thing that I got was this lip stain from Kat Von D. And 
I was going to get two of them. I was going to get this one and another one. And this one is called Echo. This is the blue one from her new collection. And I'll swatch that on my hand. I was going to get the black one of these. I don't know what the name of it is. But I decided to just go with this one and try it out. Because I don't know if I'm ready for black yet. But we'll see. I really liked the color. I like that it's kind of dark and not like not like this you know because I don't know if I'd wear that kind of blue that bold blue but I like that it's kind of dark and I think it looked really nice with like a smoky eye or even just like a simple eye and this bold lip like you can do so many things with this color so definitely excited to try that one out um I did pick up another gifted mascara from Tarte because I love this mascara it has been like my go-to mascara for like a couple months now. I can get it out. So it just looks like this, like just a wooden. Um, and that's what the brush looks like. So if you guys have, if you guys are looking for a new mascara, I definitely recommend this one. This one makes your lashes pop and really gets each individual eyelash. Not kidding. So there's that. I also picked up another Maracuja Creaseless Concealer from Tarte in color Light Medium Neutral. And this is what it looks like. But if you guys, like I said, if you guys watch my channel, some of these things are already like, yep, she uses that, yep, she uses that. So, and then I have two more Urban Decay, um, eyeshadows I really I was like I need more eyeshadows because I kind of stick to when it's around like this time like winter and autumn I feel like I stick to oranges and kind of browns and blacks and so I kind of want to step out of my comfort zone and play with color and create different looks so definitely going to be making videos where it's just not those colors that I used to use and I use other colors this one is Asphyxia, and this is a pretty violet kind of lavender color. I really liked this one because the other purples were just kind of like a dark purple and just regular colors that you'd see. And this one has kind of like pinkish tonish to it, I guess, but I really liked it. It's a really light, pretty color, so I'm excited to use all of these. And then moon dust the reason that i picked this one is because when i saw it i was like you know what this would be perfect for a uh, inner um inner duct um eyeshadow like because i pack like this inner corner like a bowl and if you guys follow uh ofra God, i forgot what her ofra i can't i don't know i will put her name like right next to here and if you guys know her and follow her on instagram or snapchat you know who i'm talking about and she always packs her inner duct like a bowl that's what she says but i love it and so when i saw this color i was like this would be perfect it's a shimmery silver white tone color um and it also would be perfect for like the lid like having like kind of a dark crease and then having this on the lid I think it'd be really pretty but definitely had to get this one because I was like that's going to be perfect for an inner duck color okay what else I already talked about that I showed those and I also picked up another NARS um creamy concealer in the color custard just looks like that and then three more things from Ulta or Sephora, I guess. Um, I got this one from Ulta. It's called Psst. Like, as if and I was, like, trying to get someone's attention. Like, Psst. Yeah, you know what I mean? If you know what I mean, thumbs up. If not, then just don't. Just, you don't have to do anything. Um, this one, I just got the air, the air travel size because I want to try it out because I've never tried out this product. So I was like, let's try it. It is an instant dry shampoo. And it looks like this. And this was only like four bucks, I think. But um, the one that I use 
is the Tresemme Volumizing Dry Shampoo, which I like this one, and I like the smell and everything, but I just kind of feel like this is makes my hair feel greasy. It's kind of um, a little overwhelming, I guess. I feel like I haven't showered in days, and this is supposed to make it feel like you've you showered, but it doesn't. So I want to try this one out and see if I like it or not, and yeah, I'll let you guys know about that. So, and there's three more things. I also picked up another Hula Benefit bronzer because this is my favorite bronzer in the whole entire world. So of course I had to get another one. I have like six already, but they're running low and I don't use all of them because sometimes with my brush it's kind of hard to get the rest of it. So I just end up buying another one. So the next two things I got were um, the NYX Baked Blushes, which I was kind of upset because the Ulta that I went to, there's two Ultas, and the one that I go to is, well, I've gone to both before, but um, the one that I used to go to is kind of like in the city, it's like kind of like on the far side of the city, and it's like where the big mall is. There's three malls, and so... I used to go there and get like my NYX stuff and if you guys know me and follow me I use the NYX blush in terracotta and I've used this in a couple videos now and I am running out if you can see and I really liked this blush because it's a nice orangey um it just warms up your face and I loved it so I was like you know what I'm gonna go get another one but when I went I went to, I've been going to the other one, and the one, the Ulta that I go to now is in a smaller mall. They call it the Ghetto Ulta, if that tells you anything. But, and I was going to go to get another one, and they didn't have any of those. So I was like, they either don't carry these kind, or they stopped making them. But I was pretty upset, so I just decided to get these baked blushes. And I got this one in color, ooh, chiffon. It's kind of a pinky toned, kind of has like hints of gold glitter in it. So I'm going to try that one out and see if I like it. And then I'm trying out this other one, which is called Ignite Passion. And this, I got this one because I felt like that's the closest shade that I could get to the one to terracotta. So I was like, let's try this out and see if it's kind of similar to terracotta. If not, then I'll probably have to go to the other one and see if they still carry these these kind. If not, then I guess they don't make them anymore. I haven't checked the website online, so I'm not sure if they have it online. But definitely upsetting that they didn't have this one in stores. So that is it for my Ulta Sephora haul. It kind of took forever, but that was a lot of stuff. Um... And let me know, guys, if you want any reviews on any of the stuff that I got. Um, if you have been wanting to try one of these things or any of the things, products that I've mentioned or brushes. Um, and you want a review on them, I can definitely do a review. Just leave that request in the comments below. Um, moving on to Charlotte Ruth. They gave me a really big bag. And I only got two things, I believe. So the first one was... And here I go again with my army green. That is what it's called. I'm going to call it that. There's a there's a certain color, and it's on the top of my tongue, but I just can't think about it right now. Taupe? No, that's not. That's like a... I have no idea what I'm thinking about. Anyways, this is what it looks like. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. It's just kind of like a... Kind of like an army jacket, I guess you could say. And especially with this color being, I feel like this color is like in, I feel like this color is in this season. Like I feel like a lot, I, I see a lot of people wearing this t color. And so I don't know if you guys follow Desi Perkins, uh, she had one of these, but hers was um, actually a, an army like camouflage kind of um, pattern print on hers and I really liked how she wore it and how it looked so I decided to get one but I didn't want like camouflage print I just wanted a green so I got this one and it has like the zipper and it has a button on the top and I didn't like this part but I could deal doesn't matter 
and it has a hoodie and then it has and I think it's removable yeah it's removable and it has kind of like a peach kind of apricot color lining right there so yeah and this one was I believe 20 something $39.99 so and I believe it was 50% off so I had to get it the next thing that I got from Charlotte Russe was the, kind of this turtleneck bodysuit. Kind of just looks like that. And it has kind of just a small kind of turtleneck. And yeah, I really liked it. Um, I've been looking for one of these forever, so I was like, I have to get this one. And this one was $14.99, so pretty good. So that's that for Charlotte Russe. From Forever 21, I got a couple things. I got I got this set of rings. I really liked these. I also got another set, but I actually already took them out of the package and I wore them today. But I like completely threw them everywhere on my coffee table. So, oh well. I got this sweater or this sweater, really. This scarf and it's pretty long. I, I mean, I don't care that it was long because I, I liked it, but what I did, and I actually wore this day, I basically, because it's literally long, so what I did was I folded it in half and then put it around my neck, I hope I can get my hair out of the way, and then you have a hole on one side and I put the rest of it through it and I just wore it like that this morning because it was pretty chilly out. And I was like, I'm just going to wear it. So, loved it. And actually, I was going to buy this online, but I it was like, you know what? I'm going to go, I was going to go, you know, earlier, I was like, I'm going to go during the week. So, I'll just wait and see if they have it in stores. And guess what? They did. So, and also, I did get this cardigan from there. Um, it's pretty long. It reaches me about, oh, I see my ankles. But I really liked it. Um. And it has like pockets, if you can see. And so, yeah. I was kind of skeptical about buying it because I don't really like super long cardigans, but I actually really liked how this looked on me. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a go. Whatever. And guess what? I bought it. I also got this V-neck from there. And I got just a pair of black leggings. So, just. And these ones were. $3.90, so pretty cheap. I got this blue tank. I'm telling you guys, the blue and army green are like, I'm obsessed, literally. Just a tank. And also a black one. And I also got a black v-neck. Kind of stocked up on like my basic shirts, because... Forever 21 is pretty cheap when it comes to like tanks and units and stuff. And then the last thing that I got from Forever 21 is that the last one? Yeah. Was this dress. So it looks really small, but that's just how they are, like the material, anyways. And it kind of, it's not a turtleneck, but it comes up pretty, it's kind of like a crew neck. It comes up pretty high on your torso, or not torso, your neck. Sorry. And it's long sleeve, and I'd say it probably hit me about my knees, if not a little bit higher than that. But it just since it's been getting kind of colder out here in Iowa, I decided I to get this one because it looked pretty nice. So, and I thought it looked really nice with this cardigan. So I got that. Okay, moving on to Paxson, I only got one thing from there, and it was this pair of jeans that I was going to get last time I had gone in there but I decided to get another color and then this other just denim pair and I went in and they had these on sale for $19.99 so I grabbed these and it's like a brown color almost kind of like a red kind of but that's what they look like and they have a tear right here in the knee and So that is what I got from Paxson. Pretty quick and simple. And from Lush. Almost done, guys. 
So the first thing I did was I got a bath bomb. Is that what they're called? Bath, bath ball. I have no idea. But anyways, it's, this is what it looks like. So basically what you do is you run your bath and while you're running your bath, you put this in there and it explodes and it creates this cool color and like they sell different kinds. They all have different names. They're all for different kind of things like to relax you or like for your skin and stuff like that. This one is called a sex bomb. I know guys, I know what you're thinking, but don't. It's just um, basically supposed to relax you and soothe you. It actually has a really nice smell to it, like kind of like flowers. It just, it's just the best smell in the world. And it kind of like has like kind of like a flower kind of in there, but it's not an actual flower. It's just how they made it. So I might use that tonight because it's perfect. And then I got another moisturizer from them. I was using the Vanishing Cream. That is what I got last time. Um, I really liked it. It was, it's called vanishing cream because as soon as you apply it, it just kind of just sinks into your skin and it's gone. You can't really feel it. And I loved that about moisturizers because I feel like other moisturizers that, moisturizers bleh, that I've used feel really thick and heavy on my face, whereas this one was just perfect for the consistency. So I went in and I've been breaking out a lot. I know I've been saying that a couple times now, but I've been breaking out a lot. I don't know why, but um, I went in and she told me, is there something in specific you're looking for? And I was like, just something to help my skin kind of calm down. And I had told her that I was using this one. And she's like, you know what? That's a good one, you know, but this and that. And then she told me I would, if I were you, I'd use the Enzymian facial moisturizer. So this is what it looks like. I would open it, but I mean, it's just. A moisturizer it's not like any particular color it's just and it has like I can't describe it it smells like nuts and lemon like mixed together it's it's not a bad scent it just smells like nuts like peanuts you know and it says keeps oily skin looking its best thanks to the all enzymic fresh fruits ingredients avocado organic aloe aloe vera and we squeeze that we squeeze into each pot. So she said that this had lime juice in it as well and that would really help tone my skin down and calm it. So once I run out of the vanishing cream, I'll definitely start using this one and see if it works better or not. This one I believe was 44 and I think the vanishing cream was probably the same. So kind of didn't make a difference. I also got another tea, tr tr tea tree water toner because I had ran out and this one was 27, I believe, which is pretty good for this size because it's pretty big. And last time that I had it, it lasted me like six months, which I thought was pretty good. So the camera like shut off on me. I don't know what happened. Like the temperature was like I had been going off, going for so long that it like it was getting hot. So it was like wait for it to cool down. So I did. And I'm back because I'm like pretty much almost done. Um, but I was saying about the tea tree water, it's pretty much worth the money. Like it's 27 bucks. It lasts you for six months. I think that's pretty good. Um, the vanishing cream, she did have the lady that I, when I went to go get this one, she had told me that it lasted her a year, which I was kind of surprised because I thought, you know, oh, well, it's going to last me a year. But I want to say this lasted me about four months maybe four or five months I mean it was pretty good it kind of wasn't it kind of seemed like it ran out quickly um, maybe it's because I use a little bit more than I should have but anyways I mean it's pretty good still um, it does help my skin so I'm not complaining so the last things that I got I actually ordered these online these are the cocoa washes and I got them off ladymoss.com I will link that in the description box below I got the lashes in goddess I have ordered these before they're so they're long and they're so pretty and it literally just makes you look like a goddess honestly that's probably why they're called that but I absolutely love these um I was gonna order more but I was like you know what I'll just stick to ordering one last time that I had got them I was pretty upset because I really liked them but I remember I was taking the glue off one of them and I accidentally kind of took the glue off too fast 
I think is what it was, and it like ripped in half. I was pretty upset because it's not like I could have fixed it or anything. It was just pretty torn up, but hopefully I don't do that with these. And then thanks to Lester Lux, I decided to get Queen Bee and see what all the fuss is about because I guess these are really long and pretty and she's like super obsessed with these and I really liked how they looked on her. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to try these out and see what the deal is about. So definitely going to, you know, make some looks with these. And that, <sighs> excuse me. That is it. This haul was pretty long. I am so sorry that it was like, what is it, like 30 minutes long, almost 30 minutes. And honestly, I tried to make this as short and quick and simple as I could, but I really like to get into depth with these kinds of things so you guys kind of, you know, see the colors, like I swatched them and all that stuff and obviously um, show you like the material and the clothes and all that fun stuff and kind of talk to you about how I use things and what I use and all that stuff. So I'm sorry if this video is too long for you guys. Um, if you guys watched all this video, I appreciate it. I hope you like it. Thumbs up. Like I said, if you guys want any reviews on any of the things that I bought, um, or you want like a makeup look done with any of these eyeshadows or whatever, or the lip stain, you know, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. I will get to it. I have a lot more videos coming up and I'm really excited. So I'm going to stop talking and end the video and I'll see you guys in my next video.